What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. With Destiny's most recent update, we saw several adjustments getting made to the sandbox in both Crucible and PvE, and as a result, the DPS meta has seen some major realignments, with a number of weapons getting significant damage improvements. So if you want to stay on top of the leaderboards when taking on raids and dungeons, then you'll need to know how these changes have affected your loadouts. While the Dragon's Breath has seen its time in the spotlight this season, there's now several other weapons that are primed and ready for top tier DPS. So what's changed? Well, to start with, precision framed rocket launchers have seen an increase to their ammo reserves, with a slight improvement to their base damage. High impact framed rocket launchers also get an increase to ammo reserves. And these high impact frames will now deal more area damage, but at the cost of reduced impact damage. Heavy grenade launchers also saw a number of adjustments. An increase in ammo reserves that will range between 6 and 10 additional grenades. The impact and overall damage of spike grenades have been reduced by a substantial amount. This doesn't make them completely useless, but it does even the playing field with other magazine types. The impact damage of all heavy grenade launchers have seen a 10% increase in damage. Detonation damage has also been increased, and heavy waveframe grenade launchers get a 20% increase to the damage dealt by these waves, and a 40% increase to their size. So how much of an impact have these changes made? Enough to make a significant shift in the DPS meta, that's how much, almost completely pushing rocket launchers straight to the side to make way for grenade launchers. Now, it's important to keep in mind that this season's artifact continues to benefit the overall damage of rocket launchers. So in a lot of boss encounters, rockets are still going to do great, but that's only when Argent Ordnance is equipped. And it's for that reason that we have left Argent Ordnance out of today's updated DPS test. With all the changes to rockets and grenade launchers, we've gathered several of both. We took them into the grasp of Avarice and tested them out against our good old friend Ferrazia. To test these weapons, we used a Solar Warlock with Well of Radiance, three Weapon Surge mods, three Reserve mods, and Luna Factions. We tested out eight different rocket launchers in this test. The Cold Comfort, the Apex Predator, the Ascendancy, the Braytech Osprey, the Crux Termination, the Semiotocin, the Palmyria, and the Crowning Duologue. We tested the Apex and Cold Comfort just to get a baseline and comparison since these have been the two best rocket launchers. We also tested out 13 different grenade launchers, including the Cry Mutiny, the Wendigo, the Regnant, Carax's Distress, the Typhon, the Prospector, the Acosmic, the Hulabalu, the Dimensional Hypocricoid, and the Salvation's Grip. So let's go ahead and see how these weapons performed, starting with rocket launchers. And we're starting at the bottom with the Crowning Duolog, Precision Framed Rocket Launcher. With a weapon trait to boost its damage, it could have put up better numbers, but this has always been more of an ad clear utility rocket launcher. The Palmyria Precision Framed Rocket Launcher actually put up more than I thought it would have but that's mainly because of chill clip.
with the improvements to ammo and damage, I was honestly expecting more out of the Semiotocin, especially with Explosive Light. The Crux Termination performed pretty well. With Surrounded activated, it could have put up a little bit more damage, but overall not bad. The Apex Predator put up right around what I was expecting, but what was more surprising is that the Apex didn't finish in the number 1 or 2 spot. The Braytech Osprey with Envious Assassin and Bipod really blew me away and put up a lot more damage than I was expecting. Pulling out an old school precision framed rocket launcher, we even tested out the Ascendancy, and I was surprised once again to see that this weapon put up almost 1.6 million points of damage. At the end of the day, the Cold Comfort reigned supreme, finishing out our list with just over 1.6 million points of damage, the best rocket launcher so far. So not bad, right? Well, just wait till you check out these grenade launchers. We tested the Salvation's grip just because, but even still, I was impressed to see that it put up 1.3 million in damage.
I was hoping the Dimensional Hypocricoid would put up better numbers, and with a damage boosting weapon trait, it would do a little bit better. But in the end, this grenade launcher just continues to be better suited towards at clear. The Hulu Bolu, or however you say it, put up decent enough numbers. I'm sure with better weapon traits, it would have performed better, but this weapon just came out, and I'm still grinding away for a better version. With Clown Cartridge and Explosive Light, the Acosmic really chewed into this boss, putting up 1.5 million points of damage. I had a feeling that the Prospector would perform well, and it certainly did, surpassing that of the Cold Comfort, finishing out with 1.73 million points of damage. With Chill Clip, the Typhon was really impressive, putting up over 1.8 million points in damage, something I really wasn't expecting. Before this update came out, I was expecting that the Regnet and the Wendigo would be the two best grenade launchers. And when these changes went into effect, both of these weapons exceeded my expectations. But between the two, I think that the Regnet has the most overall potential, because we were able to empty the clip so quickly that we still had plenty of time to deal damage with any other weapon or ability.
I wish I had a Caraxes Distress with Surrounded, but even with these utility traits of Demolitionist and Hatchling, this grenade launcher almost put up 2 million points in damage. And the only grenade launcher left is the Cry Mutiny, and I guarantee that this wasn't on anyone's radar, but this grenade launcher just put up over 2 million points of damage, all on its own. So just imagine how much more damage you could deal when adding in other abilities, and weapons, or the effects of exotics like the Wither Horde or Lumina. So I think it's become very clear that without the use of Argent Ordnance, Rocket launchers just don't cut the chud. Not in comparison to grenade launchers. Not anymore, that is. And with that said, that brings us to an end of today's video. Thank you as always for checking it out. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated, and both really do help support the channel. I'd love to hear your thoughts about these changes, and how they've affected your favorite DPS weapons. Let us know down in the comments below. If you're a new Light Guardian just starting your journey, or a battle-hardened veteran just looking for a new home, then be sure to check out the Discord link in the description below, and join one of the greatest communities in all of Destiny. And until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting.